last time on Solo Female Van Life Lessons. Okay, made it to San Diego, and I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no plans whatsoever. So now I'm gonna download the Uber and Lyft app and see if I can get an Uber to a place to visit until four o'clock when my hotel's ready. Okay guys, here's my hotel room. All my junk laid out. <laughs> Bathroom is to the left. And I, I'm charging my phone right now, so unfortunately I can't swing around too much. I view out my balcony, I'm on the fifth floor. unplug you and take you with me for a second. There's the seaport. Okay, let's plug you back in. My work laptop. So unfortunately, when I got to the hotel room and they asked me for my ID to check in, I couldn't find my driver's license. The last time I remember seeing it was when the TSA agent asked for it. He, instead of me putting it in the machine, he asked me to hand it to him. And I know he ran my ID, but I don't recall if he handed it back to me. The only other thing I can think of is that I dropped it because I should have secured it right away at the TSA line, but it, everyone was, you know, kind of waiting on me to move on. Stupid reason. Oh, no, that's a room key. Okay. I thought I had just found it in my pocket, but no. Um, anyway, so I didn't move on. I mean, I did move on without putting it away. And so possibly I dumped it in with my luggage in the bin that goes through the x-ray machine. I don't know. So I looked up online how to find out if BWI, Baltimore, Washington International, airport has my ID. I put a claim in. They say they can take up to five days. Well, I am here for five days, but I'm not going to be able to get it back in time. Obviously, they can't FedEx it to me in time to fly out. So I looked up Southwest how to fly back without an ID. It looks like there are ways to do it. So I'm going to go to the airport when I fly out relatively early to make sure that I have plenty of time to get through security. So lesson learned from this when you're traveling um, airlines, number one, bring two forms of ID. I had a pass card I could have brought even though it was expired. I have a passport that's expired I could have brought. Um, and then secondly, take a picture of your primary form of ID. So in this case, my driver's license. I could have had that on my phone. That probably would have sufficed to get me wherever I needed to go. Although it seems like I'll be able to get home without it. I don't know. I'll have to worry about that when the time comes. There's nothing I can do about it now. It's not like you can call and ask to speak to someone at BWI airport or lost and found or anything like that. What else? So of course I'm stressed out about that, not knowing if I'll be able to get home. I'm sure I will be able to. Um, lots of things I learned. I haven't flown since probably the nineties. A lot of Things are different and I, I learned a lot of things. Just flying for the first time since um, 
coronavirus um, um, 9-11 <laughs> all right I'm stressed I'm gonna relax now <laughs>